Hey everyone and welcome back to the United Star. I am Adan Uwadwa and as you must have guessed from my crappy grooving and crappy dancing, I am buzzing. I'm so happy right now. Official announcement from the Manchester United Football Club coming in saying that Manchester United women's team have secured the signing of Norway international Wilde Boerisa on a deal until the end of the 2022-2023 season with the option of a further year. Signing of the season for us let me just put it forward. I've obviously uh, talked to a lot of people on WhatsApp groups, on Telegram groups, or, you know, on Twitter comments. And I've said that if we manage to get this signing, it will be the signing of the season for us. And it looks like that. I am buzzing right now. And I don't know if uh, you guys saw what I was doing uh, earlier, but I'll do it again. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy right now. Uh, we have finally got our first signing of the season you know, something to build upon. We'll be getting a lot more signings. I'm hopeful of that. We'll be getting a new manager. So just right now, focusing on Wilde Boeris. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the name right. I'm so happy. And, you know, when she gives further interviews, maybe I'll correct my pronunciation if I'm wrong. But what a fantastic signing. Just let me explain to you what her role is. She's basically a midfielder from Norway. She made a senior debut for Norway in September 2016 in the UEFA Euro 2017 qualifying rounds, meaning that UEFA Euro 2017 tournament was there. So for the qualifying round, she made a, a senior international debut and scored a goal after being subbed on in the 65th minute. Fantastic. A goal on her debut. Maybe we can watch something like this when she makes a debut for United. A childhood United fan. If, if people didn't know, she's a childhood United fan and, you know, Joining Jackie Gronin, Wilde Boerisa, Katie Zellem, Haley Ladd, Lucy Staniforth. If I'm, I'm Ella Toon, so, so many good players in the midfield. I mean, the midfield is stacked. Our depth in the midfield is fantastic. So, talking more about Wilde Boerisa, Boerisa was also a part of the Norway squad for the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup. And, you know, she played all the five games uh, when Norway reached the quarterfinals uh, in, the, in this major tournament. Borisa was also a part of the Norway squad that won the 2019 Algarve Cup. And, you know, she's basically a midfielder who can play as a number six and as a number eight as well. For United, I mean, we have number six and number eight, so we'll have to plan something. Or, you know, the new manager, what vision he or she brings in, we'll have to adjust to that. But uh, Mia Eriksson, a journalist, a reporter, a football fanatic, used Transfer Lab to compare Borisa. Katie Zalim, Jackie Gronin, and Haley Ladd through uh, for Analytics FC through you know Transfer Lab software. The article will be in the description below. And thanks for Natalie from the All for United WFC and MUWSC for sharing this article. She basically, you know, uh, Mia Erickson compared our present midfield to uh, Borisa. And you know, in this article using Transfer Lab, it was concluded that. Borisa is somewhat similar to Katie Zell, who's our captain right now. And, you know, she has good attributes in terms of passing and, you know, carrying the ball forward. But she lacks a while defending when compared to Haley Ladd and Jackie Cronin. But let's, let's, let's just keep that aside. What a, what a signing. I mean, I'll, I'll keep on saying this. I'm buzzing right now. I'm so happy. Borisa also won the Swedish league with uh, Gotoborg FC, if I'm not wrong. Uh, sorry if, if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. She had been actually out of contract since uh, December 2020 because, you know, a move to United was on the cards back then. But, you know, the search of a foreign club was hampered due to the pandemic and uh, uh, Borisa was, didn't had, wasn't actually, you know, uh, a part of any club. But she kept on training with Sandviken, if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. I'm sorry. These are so, <laughs> these are complex for me. Uh, Sandviken is basically a, a, a club in Norway. But, uh, you know, in a native country, she eventually signed a one-year contract with Sandviken on 26th April uh, 2021. But, you know, decided to mutually terminate the contract in June because, you know, a move to United was on the cards for quite some time. She's been linked to us since last summer, if I'm not wrong. And, you know, in uh, June, she when she mutually terminated the contract, the rumours of Borisa to Manchester United fueled up. And, you know, there was a lot of chatter that we'll finally sign her. And guess what? We've signed her. 
fantastic signing. I'll, I'll keep on repeating the word fantastic signing, the signing of the season for us. And, you know, putting out just some numbers. Domestically, she's played 161 times and, you know, scored 20 goals. For Norway, she's played 37 times and scored two goals. And one of those goals was on her debut against Israel. And, you know, after her move to United a few a few hours back, uh, she, you know, United have obviously quoted her and, you know, put out some quotes uh, that Bo Risa said when she's joined the club. So, I'll just put it out here and, uh, you know, just tell you. I'm happy to be here at such a big club that I've grown up supporting. Manchester United is huge in Norway. So, to be able to come here and play for the team now is a dream come true. I'm really looking forward to playing in the WSL and, you know, I want to help the team as much as I can in qualifying for the Champions League. I'm also excited to get to know my new teammates and, of course, I hope I can see the fans in the stadium soon too. She, she's covered up everything in that. It's a dream. As I've, as I've obviously said, her dream is to play for Manchester United and which is going to come true this season. She's uh, looking forward to play in the WSL. She's looking forward to playing in the WSL as well. You know, she'll obviously help us in qualifying for the Champions League this time because she obviously has that UWCL experience uh, in the past. And, you know, she's played for Norway so many times. So, she's she knows Maria Thorisdotter, who we signed from Chelsea back in January. Uh, she's a centre-back for us. She can also play right-back. So, yeah, she knows uh, one or two players over here. And, you know, she, she said that she can see the fans in the stadium soon. And I hope... Uh, fans can travel to LSV and to the away games to support the women's team as well. Uh, as, I, as I bring up the, the, this thing, uh, you know, this is a thing that people know that I currently live in India and have not been to Old Trafford or the LSV. And, you know, in these unprecedented times, it's obviously difficult for uh, any of us over at the United Star to travel over to England and support our teams. And, you know, it's expensive as well. Let's, let's, let's be honest, it's, it's exp expensive as well. So, you know, we cannot cheer you, we cannot cheer the players in the stadium, but we can guarantee the players, we can guarantee the club that we will be cheering you from 5,646 miles, you know, just putting out a number from Google. Uh, whether it is a 7 p.m. kickoff or a 3 a.m. kickoff, we will cheer, cheer for the men's team, for the women's team, for the academy team. And I urge every fan who's watching this video right now, every United fan who's watching this video, every football fan that's watching this video, Please support women's football as well. Please support United Women if you're a United fan. Please support any other uh, women's team or maybe like you're an Arsenal fan and you, you should, uh, you know, support your uh, support Arsenal Women as well. And in this case, support United Women because, you know, Manchester United Football Club isn't just the men's team. It's the women's team. It's the men's teams. It's the academy. It's the club as a whole. So and that's, that, that's my appeal to everyone who's watching this video. Wilde Borisa is a red devil. She is home. Welcome back. Not back. Welcome home, Wilde Borisa. And, you know, we are so happy and we are so proud that you have joined us. We can't wait to watch you score that first goal over at the LSV or anywhere else. Maybe in the UWCL next to next season, but obviously you won't wait that long to score the first goal. Uh, Thanks for watching. We are the United Star. Do check us out on our Instagram and Twitter. Do follow us uh, on our Instagram and Twitter. Do subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to push on that bell icon and you know to not miss any updates. And we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our video. If you do like it, please click on the thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon to get daily notifications from the United Star. Follow us on Instagram at the.unitedstar and we will see you soon.